In the morning of the second day of our Araracuara adventure, we took a little trip on the river to take in the incredible scenery in the area. Then we stopped to take a look at the infamous Araracuara prison, right on the banks of the river across from Puerto Santander. People who have been imprisoned here talk of tales of torture and all kinds of stuff. Apparently the prisoners would be able to come out and walk around because there's really no way they could escape. You have the river on this side. Upstream, there's an impassable gorge where the water comes rushing through, where two rivers come together, and the rest is surrounded by impenetrable jungle. The landing strip that we landed on when we came here was apparently built by the prisoners back in the 50s, and they used to bring in supplies from that route. So Let's see if we can go inside and see something. The prison was built in the 1930s and remained in operation until it was shut down in 1971. This prison apparently held some of Colombia's most notorious criminals. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, looks like they're, they're building storage inside here. Well, that would be a good use of this building. We started to climb back up to the airstrip to try to get more footage of our hummingbird. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big seed. Look at the seed in this. See my red face? I definitely need water. Don't worry, I won't get heat stroke on you. This was filmed at the top of the hike at a little store by the military base. We had just completed an uphill climb which took nearly two hours in 90 degree heat. And in retrospect, I think I was in the early stages of heat stroke. We spent the rest of the day looking for the Chiribiketi Emerald and we found an adorable juvenile male. The end of another day, we got some more pictures and uh, we have quite a long hike to get back to where we're staying, but uh, it's all part of the deal. <laughs> The sun rose over Puerto Santander on our third day. We left the little house where we were staying and ate breakfast in Yacid and Nuri Castro's kitchen. Can you get bon appetit? How is it? We boarded the boat to take us across the Quequetá River from Puerto Santander to Araracuara and started on the long hike back up to the airfield. 
I was getting to know this route pretty well as this was our fourth time hiking this path. We kept looking for the Chitabiketi Emerald, but so far we were out of luck. We took a little siesta while we were waiting for lunch to be served. Gracias. Wow. It's a big fish steak. The people who live here don't need to take fish oil capsules because they eat fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Unfortunately, the rest of the day, the only hummingbird we were able to find was a green-tailed golden throat, a species that we had previously photographed in Brazil. But we found these beautiful orange-cheeked parrots once we hiked back down to Puerto Santander. On the morning of the fourth day, we took a trip down the river because we were invited to the tribe's Moloka to attend a special ceremony and meal. Since I was their first tourist, Fisi, the spiritual elder of the tribe, was very interested in hearing our ideas to help bring more tourism to the area. They let us witness the preparation of a medicinal substance used by many of the area's tribes, and it was a great honor to participate in the special meal that is prepared for this ceremony. They tell me only the guest of honor gets the fish head. It's this. Oh, we're hamming it up here now. <laughs> This is the chief, or the elder of the tribe, and he's the one who invited us in to see this ceremony today, and I'm very grateful. Está muy agradecido, dice ella, por haberle invitado. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We looked up into the trees and spotted this beautiful green-backed trogon watching the festivities. We had a great time with the people of the Andoke tribe. They were gracious hosts and I felt honored to be invited to spend the day and enjoy a meal with them. We're back at the Araraquara airstrip for one last shot of finding the Chitabiketi Emerald Hummingbird for more pictures and video before the plane came to take us back to Bogota. The adult male hummingbird we saw a couple of days ago did appear to bid us farewell to the Colombian Amazon. The Chitabiketi Emerald has a limited range, but since there's very little human activity in its range, which is almost wholly within Chitabiketi National Park, the species is not considered to be under any threat of habitat destruction. The bird is pretty easy to find if you want to make the trip down to the Oraroquara airfield.
and tell him that uh, if it weren't for him, I'd still be lying in one of those ditches out there. <laughs> one last look at the Arata Kuwata Gorge and we were off.